When COVID-19 hit, Singapore's national healthcare system was put under tremendous pressure. Existing technologies were enhanced and many innovations were built to address needs that the pandemic had thrown up. One example is the Command, Control and Communication System or C3 system at Tan Tok Seng Hospital. New widgets were rapidly built to support resource management for optimised operations. The system can analyse data, predict workload and make recommendations that support management decision making. In March 2020, yeah, where we had a huge surge of patients coming to the screening centre, there was a long queue and it came with a lot of uh, other operational challenges like the need to monitor inventory, like a PPE for staff, and of course, consumables for patients. So the C3 system actually helped us keep our eyes on the ground and gave us the capability to monitor the load of the patients. C3 was able to preempt the hospital management in opening more wards so that the patients can be promptly transferred to the wards for continued care. Another IT system is used to manage Singapore's nationwide health project, vaccination operations. The GP Connect, a clinic management software, was adapted to be used at all major vaccination centres. When you arrive over at a vaccination centre, the administrators will make use of GP Connect to check your medical records in the past, look at what allergies you have. That triggers a retrieval to the National Electronic Health Record through GPC to determine whether it's safe to vaccinate you or not. When the vaccination is administered, it's recorded in GPC. Again, the records are transmitted back to the MOH systems. And uh, shortly after, it, as you're sitting within the observation area, these records are uploaded into the national databases. You will be able to see it on your Health Hub application. Thanks to good engineering foundations, well-integrated IT systems and tight collaborations between government agencies, our national healthcare sector could quickly adapt in evolving situations. We were able to build what we have, enhance the systems that we had and then redeploy them to a lot of the new facilities that were set up during the pandemic. We would not have been able to manage this long and sustained COVID pandemic without the help of technology. Brought to you by IHIS.